But I love the fact you guys can't take yourself seriously. You try to, but you can't. It's genetically impossible for you. You know, you're like, that's it. Yeah, you're in court. He goes away for 10 years. You'll never be seen for 10 years. Six months later, hey, how you doing? I'm really, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I know this firsthand. I had something happen to me. <laughs> I like riding motorcycles everywhere because I like taking your wing mirrors out when I'm going between the traffic. <laughs> Trish, this really happened. I can't make this up. <clears throat> I'm riding. I got this really obnoxious bike. It's a. It's got an American V twin engine in it and stuff. Loud pipes. And one day, nice sunny day, end of last year. It was Thursday. You remember? It was written up in the paper. And <laughs> I'm coming across Westminster Bridge, right in the shadow of Big Ben. I make the right on the embankment, come around the corner, and there's Met police everywhere. I'm like, oh, this looks kind of serious. And before I know it, there's three Met cops standing in front of me, going, "You over now?" And I'm thinking, oh man, somebody called ahead and told them I don't have, you know a license and who, who is going to tell me so I pull over and I get the helmet off the biggest med cop ever there walks over to me and I swear to God the first thing he says to me is we're detaining you under the UK terrorist act and I'm thinking man I really got to grow a beard I guess I don't know yeah are you serious and he's like yes that's right and I go look man I'm an American all right we're supposed to be partners on this war on terror how could I be threat to your government how could this you know, bike be a threat to your government unless the pipes are so loud it was disturbing an MP behind me in an office as he's trying to rot off another duck house that afternoon <laughs> he said no sir the problem is your registration plate because I had an American plate on the bike because I just brought it in I go oh, okay and he goes yeah you went by one of our secret cameras across the river and as you went by we couldn't read the plate which is why we are detaining you now and as a joke, I said, really, where's your secret camera? And I swear to God, he goes, you see that tree across the river right there? <laughs> it's on the pool next to the tree right there. And I'm like, good luck with that war on terror, buddy, really. <laughs> then he goes, what are you doing here? I'm saying, oh, I'm working. I'm a comedian. I'm really enjoying it. He goes, all right, fine. Now, anywhere else in the world, they just let you go. Obviously, I don't fit some sort of profile or something. Have a nice day. But no, because I'm in England, and you people love paperwork, he wrote me a receipt for not being a terrorist. <laughs> Swear to God, I keep it with me wherever I go, just in case I'm pulled over. I can show it to the cop going, by the way, I'm not a terrorist. I have my receipt. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it's just not one sheet of paper. It's two sheets of paper. The first one has my name and details. You can see it says Metropolitan Police on there and stuff, right? And I'm like, all right, fine. And you know, where I was, who I am and stuff. As opposed to riding in there, well, he seemed like a nice fellow. That's where we let him go. There's all these stop search codes, outcome codes. So they give you a second sheet of paper with all the codes on it. So now it's some sort of paper decoder ring I have on me. <laughs> So I have to look at this stuff, and it, and it has all the, and, and the outcome codes blow me away. The first one says, no further action. Okay, that'd be me. That's why I'm here. Uh, thanks for that. Uh, second one, advised, which I'm sure it involved a lot of. <laughs> third one, third one, verbal warning, which sounds like advised, but you people are pedantic, so I let that one go. Fourth one sounds serious. Fourth one just says, arrested. <laughs> Until you get to the fifth one, which just says, other. <laughs> Everything else, you know, alcohol, consumption, cannabis, no, no, four, five is other. Holy, what is other? It could be anything. Sodomized with a trungeon, I don't know. <laughs> Keel hauled or something. Press gang, you know? And, and on the back of this thing, there's a, there's a terrorism, terrorism. And then there's a number I can call if I want to turn people in, I guess, or something. <laughs> and knowing you people, you've already outsourced that number. It rings in a call center in India at this point. <laughs> You want to call? I think my neighbor's a terrorist. Some guy in India's going, oh, I was going to call you about an hour ago, actually. Really, uh. <laughs> so he's writing me my receipt for not being a terrorist. I'm standing there, you know, and, and everybody's there pulling more people over. And this woman cop walks up and starts walking around my bike. She goes, this bike shouldn't be on the road. I go, I'm sorry, what? She goes, well, look at it. It's not even road legal. See, the registration plate is mounted off the axle. It should be mounted off the back of the fender. There's no turn indicators on the back or the front. These pipes are too loud. There's no suspension. And she looks right at me, and she goes, this bike isn't even road legal. What do you have to say to that? Now, I'm a comedian. <laughs> and when you hear something like that, it sounds a lot like being heckled. And our job as comics is try to come back as quickly as possible to get the upper hand no matter what the outcome. And without even thinking, I looked at her and I said, well, you're a woman and I don't think you should be a cop. What do you think of that? <laughs> and a voice in my head went, uh, you said that out loud, eh? <laughs> I thought, oh, because I know, <gasps> I just froze. Time stood still, because in America, they would have shot me <laughs> and then written out a ticket and left it on my corpse with a warning, you know? <laughs> You better pay that in 60 days or a double, sir, you know? 
but everything just stopped. Even guys getting arrested for terrorism or being handcuffed, thrown into a van, looking at me going, sure glad I'm not that guy. Yeah. <laughs> And I didn't know what's going to happen. Before I could say, I'm really sorry, hon. The, the cop writing the receipt next to me, I don't see him. I swear to God, I hear this. <laughs> and I look at him, I go, are we cool? He wouldn't even look at me. He goes, oh, mate, you really. <laughs> oh, you got her good, mate. You really did. And I'm like, I don't think I'm out of the woods. I'm like, all right, and then I hear this, mate. And I turn around and see two huge Met cops coming at me, laughing, and they start high-fiving me in front of the woman. They're like, that's how, she's been like this all day. That was hilarious. And I'm high-fiving going, I'm really sorry, really, sorry. Then the guy rips off the receipt, hands it to me. He goes, thanks, you better go. And I go, you think, right? So I get on the bike, I start it up, it's so loud nobody can argue anymore, and I tear off down the embankment, and I'm looking in the rearview mirror to see if there's any kind of you know, immediate ramifications, and I see the woman standing in the road pointing at me, trying to make her case to the two guys I high five, going, nah, 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 nah. and the guy who opened the receipt, I swear to God, is standing behind her doing this. <laughs> Which is why I love your country. Thanks for hanging out. Have a nice night. Enjoy. <laughs>